So welcome to ENN. Uh, we have three big stories today and we'll go to our first story right away. Uh, we have Michael already on the scene uh, at the moment and uh, he will be discussing about uh, what is happening over in the sanctuary. Uh, hi Michael. Hi Lincoln. So uh, tell the viewers uh, who haven't been following this story uh, what's been happening today and uh, why is it of significance? Uh, today is a special membership meeting. We will be voting on the motion to extend an offer to Dr. Hama uh, to be the lead pastor for the English congregation. Uh, the vote will commence shortly. If the motion is passed Dr. and Dr. Hama accepts the offer, he could take over leadership responsibilities of English ministries from Reverend Howe Anderson, who is leaving ECBC to pursue his doctoral studies at Southern Baptist Theol Theological Seminary in Louisville, Kentucky. And we're cutting in here to show the live results. The, oh, the results in English, sorry. Uh, there, <laughs> there were 74 ballots in total, 64 agreed, 5 disagreed, and 5 void. And uh, 64 out of 74, that's more than two-thirds of the uh, total ballot, so the vote was passed. So there you have it, 74 votes, 64 supported, 5 opposed, and 5 were void. Uh, 64 votes uh, is greater than two-thirds of the congregation, so the motion is passed. So when does this take effect? And Tawa will be leaving ECBC to start his studies at the end of July this year. When Dr. Hama would start, however, hinges on uh, whether he accepts the offer and also on the transition time that would take into effect uh, Dr. Hama uh, getting his visa and so forth. Okay, uh, so we'll have a story on the vision team later on, but based on what you know about Dr. Hama and the past few months with the vision team there, would, the dramatic, would there be dramatic changes or would we need to start from scratch uh, to be able to continue what has taken place so far? The vision will continue to be guided by our excellent leadership team. The outreach team is currently working with the English leadership to identify who the English congregation is best suited to, to reach. Once a clear direction is established, the outreach team will work to create uh, integrated programming that is welcome, welcoming to the appropriate pop population. The outreach team will work with the ECBC leadership to most effectively use the strengths God has given us to produce fruits. Uh, so what direction, differences, and similarities do you see versus, uh, in Dr. Talma versus Talma there? As of now, Lincoln, it is difficult to say. The leadership team has spent plenty of time and thought prior to raising the motion. From what I have seen, Dr. Hama has plenty of excellent leadership qualities that could benefit the English congregation and the entire ECBC family. Whether or not the motion is passed will be up to the members of the congregation. So what was the general atmosphere, uh, what it was like uh, leading up to the vote today? Uh, people here are excited about the prospect of filling the position being left vacant by our beloved Tao Anderson who will be missed greatly. The atmosphere has been very positive uh, all, all morning and we look forward to what God has in store for us. Uh, so what now? Is today's vote the final and end all being all decision or will there be more things like a bill would be in the government? Now is that the committee will give Dr. Hama the offer and wait for his acceptance. If he accepts, there still needs to be a legal transition for him to come to Canada, as I mentioned, um, visas, uh, of course, and the formalities of resigning from his current occupation. Well, thank you, Michael. Thank you. And for right now, we have a live feed for the ballots being destroyed. Look at the form. Watch how does lighten Look at that. Michael is our correspondent on pastoral motions at ENN reporting about the vote of Dr. Hamlin's position at ECBC. Uh, we now move to our next big story, uh, the vision team meeting which was held earlier uh, before the vote today and Joyce Chan will have a report on this right now. In the general membership meeting today, the entire congregation of the English congregation gathered together and we split into small groups and in each group there was a, a discussion on the vision for the English Congregation Outreach Department. Uh, specifically, they discussed 
uh, the strengths and weaknesses of the outreach department, as well as the as what they had hoped to see um, happen in terms of their own personal lives, in terms it, in regards to outreach. Uh, I one group specifically mentioned uh, being able to reach out more to their friends and their family, but more towards people who uh, went to school. And so they had more of a focus on fellowship and, and Sunday school. There are other groups who would appreciate more, uh, more events, more church events, such as concerts and sporting events that they might be able to invite their friends to so that uh, they might be able to speak about God and Christ in a more, uh, in a less secular environment. Um, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Joyce. Uh, and finally, we have our third story of the day here. Uh, it's been a busy weekend. Uh, we have uh, David Art, uh, who uh, was at ECPC for the last time before he uh, is moving to Vancouver. And he is moving to Vancouver to study at Regent College uh, for his MCS, which means Master of Christian Studies uh, in the Old Testament. Uh, and to close off today's news, uh, we do have a rare video uh, that nobody has seen before uh, of uh, From the Vault, starring David Art. Uh, with his first Ikebiko nominated role. Mmm, I love sitting here having a lollipop and admiring my big diamond ring. It's so big and expensive. Kind of loose though, I should get it sized so that say, ninjas don't come and pluck it off my finger. Ah! Ninjas! Dude, dude, dude! Hello? Knights in shining armor? Ninjas just came and stole my ring! You have to come and save me! Hurry! I think I want that one. Well, I thought too. Okay, don't forget the phone!